Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and this is going to be a short SmackDown review because this was a tape show tonight, and this tape show was absolutely fucking awful, in my opinion. Just an awful, terrible show it was. I wasn't even paying that much attention to the show tonight. I mean, look at, look the, look at the card that we had. Liv Morgan versus Tiffany Stratton. The Street Profits. Versus Pretty Deadly. You already know if Pretty Deadly's on this show, you already could tell that this show is going to be awful. You had Naomi and Bailey. They have taken on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. You had EO Sky versus Last Legend, Piper Niven, and Bianca Belair. And the main event, you had Cody Rose and Randy Orton. And they teamed up to take on Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. Now, does it sound like a good show tonight? No. Jeez, but the show started off with a promo from Nia Jax. She ended up coming out there saying that she there is only one thing on her mind, and that is the Women's Crown Jewel Championship, and that she wants it. Of course, she's going to be taking on Liv Morgan tomorrow at Crown Jewel. Of course, this was the go-home show for Crown Jewel. So... You know, you had Raquel Rodriguez come out there, and then Liv Morgan, Dominic, came out. So, Liv Morgan ended up saying that Nia Jax, Nia Jax keeps bragging about her accomplishments, like she's special. She kept saying that Nia is not that special. So, we had, you know, Tiffany Stratton coming out there. Stratton ended up saying, oh, they could all argue all they want, because it'll be Tiffy time at Crown Jewel. Where she ended up saying that she'll cash in her money in the bank briefcase at Crown Jewel and become the new Women's World Champion. So then we had, you know, Liv Morgan versus Tiffy Stratton. Boring match it was. Absolutely boring. Liv Morgan ended up winning. Stratton ended up going to hit Liv Morgan with the briefcase. Liv Morgan ducked and rolled Tiffy Stratton up. She got a handful of tights. And that was that. Then Nia Jax went into the ring. We had Liv Morgan drop kicking Nia Jax in her knee. Liv Morgan then ended up smashing Tiffy Stratton in the face with uh, Stratton's Money in the Bank briefcase. Nia Jax then blocked a briefcase shot and headbutted Liv Morgan. So Raquel Rodriguez rolled into the ring. Nia Jax ended up hitting her with the briefcase. Dominic then jumped on the apron. The briefcase hit Dominic in the face. Nia Jax then ended up hitting Liv Morgan in the head with the briefcase. She went up to the top and delivered the Annihilator. How great was that? Awful. Awful match. So, there we had the Street Profits versus Pretty Deadly. Elton Prince, Kit Wilson... Yeah, that's what I thought of the match. Street Profits end up winning. Dog is end up attacking Kit Wilson. He put Kit Wilson on his shoulders. Montez Ford tagged in. And the Street Profits hit a blockbuster powerbomb combo on Kit Wilson. And that was that. So then we had Naomi and Bailey versus Cancel Ray and Indy Hartwell. Which this was a okay match here. The crowd was pretty much into uh, this match here. But Naomi and Bailey end up winning the match. Cancer Ray ended up hitting Bailey with a step up senton, which was followed by a springboard moonsault, to which Bailey wasn't the legal competitor in the match. So Naomi ended up hitting the uh, rear view on Cancer Ray. She had to go for the cover. And there you go. Naomi and Bailey end up winning the match. And this was Indy Hartwell's last match in WWE. Of course, she ended up getting released along with Tegan Knox and Baron Corbin. To which Baron Corbin went on uh, Twitter and he thanked the fans, you know, for uh, supporting him, uh, you know, in his time in uh, WWE. Which to me, Baron Corbin's best gimmick was the Lone Wolf when he was in NXT. That was when 
you know, everybody cared for Corbin. And then when he came out to the main roster, the, everybody just was mixed on Baron Corbin. You had that whole awful shit when he was uh, Constable Corbin. And then he, he was King Corbin when he won the 2019 King of the Ring. And then he became uh, Happy Corbin, which he was a happy-go-lucky character. And, you know, Mad Cat Moss was with him. You remember that awful shit. And then, you know, pretty much he went back down to NXT and he was teaming with Braun Breaker, which I thought, you know, him and Braun Breaker as a tag team was awesome. So, but wherever Baron Corbin goes, hopefully, you know, he does, you know, well. And I wish him luck. Yeah, that, that was Indy Hartwell's last match tonight on SmackDown. Getting the L with Candice LeRae. So I wish, you know, Indy Hartwell luck as well. And also Tegan Knox. So then we had, you know, the Roman Reigns segment where he was talking with Jimmy and Jey Uso. So just, you know, them want to uh, squash the beef. You know, Jimmy uh, wanted to squash the beef with Jay. Jimmy ended up saying that he made up with uh, Jay. So, Roma was looking all conflicted about that. And Jimmy ended up saying that uh, he needs Reigns to squash it with them. And Reigns needs to make up with his cousin. So, pretty much that was that. Which I thought, you know, was a... You know, decent segment. And so then we had the Fatal 4-Way, EO Sky versus Last Legend versus Piper Niven versus Bianca Belair. Did not even care for this. You had EO Sky picking up the win. EO Sky took Bianca Belair out with a, over the moonsault. EO ended up covering Last Legend. And there you go. EO Sky won. So, and then the main event. Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes versus Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. You know, this was okay for what it was. Yeah, Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton end up winning the match where Orton ended up hitting Gunther with an RKO. Cody then ended up finishing Kaiser up with the crossroads and they end up winning. And then post match, Kevin Owens came out there and attacked Orton out of nowhere with a steel chair. Gunther then took uh, Cody out with the sleeper hold. And pretty much that was how SmackDown went off the air tonight. Overall, just an awful, awful SmackDown it was. It was a tape show. It did nothing to hype us up for Crown Jewel tomorrow, which, you know, I said it on the My Night Raw review. Crown Jewel is looking like a, you know, pretty uh, decent card here for tomorrow. So, hopefully the show will be... You know, good tomorrow. So, but anyways, just wanted to get this, you know, short, you know, little uh, quickie review out there because, you know, this show th does not deserve a full review from me, you know, from, you know, the match move to move. It doesn't deserve it. It was such a terrible show that mostly I didn't pay attention to. But anyway, that's it for uh, this review. Thank you all for watching. And be sure to check out my previous video if you haven't seen it earlier. I did a review of Venom The Last Dance, so check out that. If you guys haven't seen it, upload it earlier. So, until then, I won't be reviewing Crown Jewel uh, tomorrow because, you know, I'll be working. So, but until the next video, I'll see you all later.